Today we're going to talk about one of the best bicolored lights that you can buy for cinematography. And the reason I'm not calling this light the best light is because it has two older brothers which exceed its performance. The 120 watt Zolar Toleman 30S is single-handedly competing, if not beating, industry-leading lights such as the Airy Sky panels which cost upwards of $6,000. Although this light is priced in a lightweight category starting at $499 with the most expensive panel being $799. It is bringing heavyweight performance, setting new industry standards when it comes to color accuracy and color rendition, especially when we look at it at a price to performance ratio. So what makes this light so special? Well, simply put, it is the color accuracy. So there's a couple of ways when it comes to measuring the fidelity of light and light quality in general. We have CRI, TLCI, and SSI. CRI is the color rendering index. The problem with that is that it's based on the perception of human vision with respect to color. We have TLCI, which is the Television Lighting Consistency Index. However, the problem with that is that it was designed for special three chip cameras used in broadcast television and not film and single chip cameras used in cinema. And then we have SSI, which is the Spectral Similarity Index. This addresses the problem that the other two means of measurement have and is widely been adopted and published by the Academy of Motion Pictures. This is what makes this light so special, is its SSI values. SSI is a ranking out of 100 points. In the studio, we use the Sekonic C800U color spectrometer to test out this light's SSI value, starting at 5600 Kelvin all the way to 3200 Kelvin in 100 Kelvin intervals and simply put I was blown away by the color accuracy. At 5600 Kelvin a white LED mode this light measured an impressive 90 on the spectral similarity index which is a huge feat for any light to pull off especially with white LEDs. The manufacturer promised SSI values up to 90 so I was pleasantly surprised when I saw values of 91 and creeping in there as well. The lowest value that I was able to get this light to measure out was 87, but the majority of them were in the high 80s or low 90s. I would say the majority was probably around 88 on the spectral similarity index. Now, when we're looking at other lights, right, what does this mean? Well, the Aperture 120D Mark II back there, which has been demoted from key light to a light that I use as a practical fake window, only measured an SSI reading of 70 Two, mind you, this light is $899 retailing. This light is $499. Now, I wasn't able to find any SSI readings from the Aries Sky panels. However, I was able to find their TLCI readings, which maxed out at 92 across their entire range of lights. Let that sink in real quick, because when I tell you I was not able to get a TLCI reading below 99 out of this light, that is very impressive for a light that does not cost in the thousands of dollars. As a matter of fact, the most you could spend on this series of lights is $799, and the most expensive light comes with full RGB capability as well as the amazing color accuracy and rendering that the lower level lights have as well. I want you to see what this looks like visually. You can see here the color shifts from the other two lights, the Wii Light Ninja 200 and the Aperture 120D Mark II compared to the Zolar Toleman 30S and how this is a true daylight white balanced light. So everything is amazing on paper, which means the practical use of this light is simply better. The Zolar Toleman 30S is a 120 watt light that comes in at around 4,680 lumens. The Zolar Toleman 30C, which comes in at over 7,000 lumens at 100%, keeping the same color accuracy. But with respect to the 30S panel, I did not find the power output to be limiting. As a matter of fact, it's actually brighter than my Aperture 120D Mark II, which was the long-standing key light within the studio. Before we get any farther into this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button with that post notification icon if you already have not, as we will be reviewing the Toleman 30C, which is a more powerful 7,000 lumen light, and the Vega 30C, which is the full RGB light with the same color accuracy, color rendition, and even more power. 
With this light being an entry level light, but offering more than entry level performance, I want to see just how much I could push this light and what you will be able to get out of mostly a single lighting setup. I did incorporate some other lights, which is kind of hard because this light is so color accurate, you really don't want to use anything else, but they were used very minimally throughout this test. With respect to power output, I filmed an interior day scene at nighttime to see if I could use this light not only as a key light but to mimic the sun. And no shock at all, this light gave me more than enough power at 100% to mimic sunlight at night. So I feel like this light performed very well. I got very nice color rendition on my face and color fidelity in the surrounding area. And I didn't notice how much my other lights really affected this when I've tried to film similar scenes, but this light, you could feel the color accuracy with it. From there I shot an interior light scene and I used the bi-color feature here to really be able to match the light to the interior practical that I was using as motivation and just very pleasing skin tones, very pleasing softness coming from this light as well. And that is without the one by one modifiers. Current one by one modifiers on the market should work with this light, but I've also heard rumors that Zolar is going to come out with their official series of one by one modifiers. So just keep an eye out on official news channels for that information. The last scene I want to shoot was a recreation from a scene in Euphoria where Zendaya was laying on the bed and it looked like there was just some daytime light motivation coming in through a window somewhere in the background and then a key light hitting her face. So I used the Wii Light Ninja 200 as a key light on my face which gave me very, very pleasing skin tones. I can't stress this enough, especially when a light renders black skin tones well, it always makes me happy. And then in the background, I just threw in some haze and used the Wii Light Ninja 200 to act as if sun was coming in through a window that does not exist, it's actually a hallway, but that gave me that backlight motivation that I wanted there as well. So you can create a lot with just one light and I can only imagine how much more creative you can get with more than one light. Out of the box, everything that you get is pretty standard and what you should expect when buying a light. When this light arrives at your doorstep, you are going to be greeted with this light in a carrying case. The case is black and orange with white Zolar lettering on the front. It actually looks pretty aesthetically pleasing and it has a nice solid foam interior on the inside of the case and the outside does feel very rugged and firm. Everything fits inside of the case snugly as well, which makes me comfortable when traveling with this light. It actually allows the form to absorb that impact that can happen when you're traveling. So I wouldn't feel uncomfortable checking my lights and letting them go underneath an airplane when I'm traveling. And that's really important to me, especially since I travel a lot for cinematography work. In the box, we're going to find the light itself, an extra handle that goes on the light, a control box, as well as a control cable, and a Bluetooth antenna with some screws. We're gonna get more on the Bluetooth antenna and connectivity in just a second. But when you open up the case, I think you're gonna be a little bit shocked because I know I was a little bit shocked at just how well this light is built, especially at $499. I did not remember the price when it was shipped to me. I've had this light since before it shipped, but I was feeling like this light was gonna be at least starting at $800. And when I felt it and how well it was built and then heard it was only $499, I was shook. You cannot find a single piece of plastic on this light except for the V-mount plate, the knob used to control the light on the back, and some of the handles that you use to adjust the angle of the light or to secure it to a light stand. This light is completely made out of metal and simply put, feels and looks like one of the best lights I've ever seen. I've never considered aesthetics when it comes to lights, but this light ticks that box easily said. You're also going to get a diffusion panel that goes in the front that has a matte and a glossy side as well. And it looks like there's more slots for extra diffusion panels. Perhaps maybe Zolar is going to offer some one by one gels for this light, especially if you don't have the bi-colored light, which will allow you to gel it up in a sense, which would be very cool and very convenient and keep everything nice and clean and organized as well. Normally when we have a section on fan noise, it's actually oh, really detailed, but this is a very short short section. I've never heard the fans on this light. Even at 100%, I didn't know the fans were on until I accidentally moved my hand past the exhaust area and felt air coming out. My PC is louder fan-wise, my Ninja 5 is louder fan-wise, and my 120D is definitely louder fan-wise as well. Fan noise is not a problem on this series of lights, and I actually don't know why they even put a fan 
in this light in particular. We will talk about the fan noise on the bigger panels when we review them on the channel. With respect to connectivity, we can power this light with wall power or we can power this light with V-mount power. But the cool thing is that we're not using DMX cables to control this light. Yes, it does offer a control box, but all that functionality is on the back of the light. You do not have to use the control box with this light, which means if you're using V-mount power, you can actually use this light with no cables at all, keeping your sets nice and clean and not having to worry about people tripping over cables, which is a very important thing when it comes to the safety of our sets. But with that, comes something else even more special. Because if you are just using V-mount, you have to go to the back of the light to control it still. Except you really don't. Zolar has a new app called Zolar Link, and this is one of the most impressive things about this light. Zolar Link allows you to connect to up to 50 lights with Bluetooth connectivity on a single application, just using your iPhone, 50 lights. This is going to allow you to be able to look at your director's monitor and make adjustments to each individual light without having to move back and forth, which saves a lot of time and was actually even really helpful when I was shooting scenes as well by myself. The app is very straightforward to use and it's a completely seamless experience. It's available on both the App Store and the Google Play Store. And I can't wait to see how this is used creatively throughout the industry as more people start to buy these lights to be able to control up to 16 arrays of lights, up to 50 lights with no DMX cables at all with just a single source is going to save so much time on set when it comes to setting up lights. All you have to do is just worry about positioning, connecting them all and going from there, knowing you have control over each individual lights or if you wanna put them in arrays, you have control of those as well. When it comes to effects, you are not going to be lacking in that department. You have all the standard effects that you've come to know that have been available on lights recently in the market. Things such as firework, paparazzi, faulty bulb, lightning, etc. They even have a passing mode which emulates a car driving underneath street lights. This makes it so much easier instead of having to actually move the light consistently or have somebody move the light as if you're passing underneath street lights. It's gonna make shooting those scenes so much easier as well. Well, I did not get a chance to test out a lot of these effects in practical applications because that would require me to put the light outside for the most part and I can't afford to do that because this light isn't weather resistant in the past month and a half. We've had very bad weather here in Michigan. But just know they work the same way as they do on any other lights. In conclusion, this is the best light that you can buy. I say that confidently because of that price to performance ratio. What's gonna be nice to see is as this company becomes more established within lighting, which I'm sure it will, the more power that we're gonna get out of these light panels. It would be awesome to even see a cob light series from Zolar because of their color accuracy and color rendition. This will allow us to use things such as Fresnel lenses and spotlights and just to have a complete arsenal of Zolar lights with this color accuracy at this price point, I can't wait to see where this goes. I would 100% recommend investing in this light series and even possibly selling your older lights unless you need them for things such as spotlights or Fresnels. The links to these lights are available in the description down below. And full transparency, nobody paid me to say any of this. These are all my own opinions. If you guys like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those post notifications if you have not, because we will be reviewing the Toleman 30C, which is the more powerful bi-colored light at 7,000 lumens, and the Vega 30C, which is the full RGB light with the great color accuracy and color rendition. So stay tuned for those reviews coming up on the channel sometime in the future. And be sure to follow me on my social media. The links are in the description down below as well as the YouTube fam. Their links are also in the description down below. My beautiful people, now more than ever, if you are ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just want to give up on life, remember, every day airplanes take off against the wind. Keep climbing, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. My name is Sydney, and I will see you beautiful people next time. Peace out.